back to my channel. I have just woken up, so please excuse the fresh face. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley. I make healthy lifestyle videos, fashion content, beauty content, all that fun stuff, and we are in the middle of my weight loss journey content with Optavia, so welcome. So today's video is just going to be like a what I eat in a day, full day of eating, um, more kind of vlog style. I just want to show you more content of what my day-to-day -day eating looks like on Optavia and also kind of document my journey. I am in the middle of eating my very first fueling that you guys just saw. I put together a pancake slash a waffle because I am using my Dash mini waffle maker and it is amazing. I also put together my Sarah's Day body bloom. I really like having this in the morning just for like some morning probiotics, all of that fun stuff, but I figured I'd document all of this for you guys and just kind of show you what we're doing as of today which today I'm about two weeks into my journey and I have officially lost 13 pounds so we are going strong I'm really really excited about my progress and I just am so so glad that you guys have joined me on this journey and truly appreciate all of the support so far so welcome to another episode of Shlee's health journey <laughs> So I wanted to really quick kind of talk to you guys about this fueling. So this is the golden chocolate chip pancake fueling and I just did it as a waffle in my Dash Mini Waffle Maker. However, normally I would put syrup on this. You are allowed to have sugar-free pancake syrup on your pancake fuelings. If that's something that you want to do, you can use it as a condiment. However, I have actually cut out syrup on my pancakes. The only reason being is I personally feel like syrup and things like that are kind of like a trigger food for me and I know that I can't really contain my myself on it and you're only really supposed to have like I think it's like a tablespoon or something like that you have to really limit your quantities on that and I just honestly I just know myself too well and I just don't trust myself so I in order to gain the best possible results I've cut out syrup on my pancake fueling and actually honestly the the little chocolate chips in there actually taste a little sugary so that you get a little bit of a sugary kick in there instead of having just drenched in syrup I may add syrup in later on just because I'll be able to contain myself and control myself Myself a little later on but for now I've actually been eating these plain and then using my other condiments later on throughout the day but I did forget to mention to you guys it is currently Saturday August 8th and it is 9 58 a.m. <laughs> So normally I would be up a little bit earlier than this, but Zach and I actually didn't get very much sleep last night. It was actually really hard to fall asleep last night because our AC is broken. So the landlord's coming out to fix that, but it's been really difficult to fall asleep because it's just so hot. So normally I would be up around like 7, 7.30. However, this morning we woke up, I think around nine. You do wanna have your first feeling within the first 30 minutes to an hour of you waking up. So that's what I'm doing. And we're gonna eat this and get on with our day. Okay, so it's time for coffee, and this is currently my favorite mug. It just says, get after it. This cup is the Hearth and Hand brand with Magnolia at Target, and I love it. Always really gets me motivated for the day, so I'm gonna make my coffee really quick. The coffee we use is this Allegro coffee brand from Whole Foods, and we do the organic breakfast blend, and it's delicious. I just do regular coffee and then I do a little bit of half and half. I know a lot of people on Optavia will do black coffee or they'll do just almond milk in their coffee. I just can't do that. I think it's disgusting. So I do a little bit of half and half in my coffee and then I do two Truvias. The half and half will technically count as a healthy fat, but honestly, I think it's worth it. I just need this in my life. I can't do this black and I can't do it with almond milk. And then we mix it all up. I really like this mixer just because it kind of froths on top, which is really nice. 
and we're gonna get after it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna head to the gym and I just wanted to show you guys this outfit really quick. It's about 12.30 p.m. So it's been two and a half hours since my last fueling. I'm gonna have a creamy chocolate shake as my fueling and I'm just gonna take this with me to the gym. But this outfit I really love just because I got this top. It's like a baby blue color. I don't know if you can fully see it. I'll show you guys right there in the mirror. I really love it, but it just fits really well and I got it off of Amazon. Um, a brand sent it to me and I think I'm gonna just get a couple more just because I really like how it fits and I like wearing it to the gym or I'll even wear this to work. Please ignore, we are still kind of unpacking. <laughs> But uh, anyway, I just really like this top and then it goes really well with my workout pants These are like really old from I think Calvin Klein So I don't think you can find them anymore But I get a lot of compliments on them just because they are just such a cool pattern and they work really well with this shirt So I'm gonna head to the gym and do I think like a little bit of cardio and like a sauna session and have my next fueling and we're gonna crush it Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand Okay, I normally just do like 10 minutes in the sauna after I work out I did about 40 minutes of cardio today And then I'll head home and have my third feeling of the day I'm excited because I'm hungry Okay, I had to make a quick stop at Target, but like, we have to admire the fall stuff of the Hearth and Hand line. I'll show you. When there should be two of us, and yeah, I know we both wanted different things, but letting go just comes easy to you. workout and mini target run oh my god I am so obsessed with all of the fall I just like fall is life anyway so I'm in the mood for something savory so I keep all of my feelings organized in our pantry like this but I think I want the jalapeno cheddar poppers. So these will be fueling number three, and it's about 2.30 p.m., so it's been two hours, and if you don't already know, you're supposed to have your fuelings every two to three hours throughout the day. So, number three. <laughs> So I'm gonna have my lean and green now and I just took a shower and washed my hair So you guys are just getting like a no makeup shlee like all day today. It's been it's been great Probably should have put makeup on <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna have my lean and green. It is about 5 p.m. Yep 4.59. So, 5 o'clock, I'm gonna have my lean and green. Normally, I do have my lean and greens with Zach. We also try to have them earlier in the day, just because I prefer to have more time for my body to kind of digest the food, since this is gonna be the biggest meal of the day. I don't like to have my lean and green as, like, my last meal of the night, just because then it just goes in, and obviously it's healthy food, but it just goes in and then just kind of sits there all night while I sleep. My body is trying to digest it, and then it's harder to see faster results. So, try to have my lean and green during the day for like a lunch kind of a meal because we woke up late today it's a little bit in between but it is what it is so I'll show you what I'm having Zach is fasting today so he is not actually gonna have a meal with me but he did grill up this chicken breast for me and I'll admit this chicken breast is like a lot more than I need so I'm probably only gonna eat half of it and then I just did a little stir fry of my veggies I did some chopped up broccoli and then some bell peppers that I already had pre-cut from the week before this is just gonna be a red yellow and orange bell pepper and then I just did a 
little bit of olive oil, some minced garlic, and then some Lowry's garlic salt, as well as the red hot seasoning blend, which is bomb. These are gonna be my servings of veggies, and then I'm gonna have about half of this grilled chicken breast that just has salt and pepper on it, so delish. This is like the thing that we've been drinking recently. It's bubbly and it's strawberry flavored. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, I don't think you can see it, but it's basically sparkling water and like, don't get me wrong, I am not a sparkling water person. Like I have never understood why people like those, but ever since we got on plan, it's like, because you're not having as much sugar and you're not having as much of the unhealthy foods, a little bit of flavor or a little bit of sugar can kind of go a long way. And there's no sugar in these obviously because it's basically just sparkling water, but it does kind of do the trick because it's all my body really needs these days because I'm so used to eating healthy and eating clean. So I was never understanding of the flavored sparkling clean water thing and now I get it. I guess that's what eating healthy does to you. So I'm gonna eat my lean and green and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Show me your love like it is, like it is And open my heart like you're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless So you just saw me make this, but this is going to be my fourth fueling for today. And this is actually the rustic tomato penne. And I just put one of the laughing cow cheese wedges on top. I split it up between each little flatbread, but this is basically like the rustic tomato penne made into a flatbread. And I think it tastes delicious. I was thinking about filming a whole fueling hack video just on this, just because it's such a game changer. So go ahead and comment below if that's something that you want to see. Super, super good. And then I've had a few bottles of water today. I think I'm currently about 40 ounces in. So I just need to have about 24 more, which should be like, I think two, two of these bottles or so. So I am trudging away on my water. I need to get 64 ounces in a day, but I'm gonna have this last fueling. It is now 7 p.m. And then I'll have my fifth fueling over at 9 p.m. tonight, and then we'll be done for the day. So, yeah. Okay guys, so it's dark. I'm literally just in front of my oven light. It's like nine o'clock at night, but I'm gonna go ahead and have my fifth and final fueling. I'm gonna have the drizzled chocolate fudge crisp bar. It's gonna be delicious. I'm honestly not even really that hungry at this point. So that's kind of what's great about program is it feels like I don't really even get hungry anymore as much as I used to. So it's pretty awesome, but wow. I really wish I had better lighting than this right now. Holy, maybe this is a little better. I don't know. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching today's video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you like seeing these types of videos of just kind of a what I eat in the day, following me along throughout my day, and how I'm staying on my Shalee's Health Journey weight loss series, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.